And we are back with our uh, third recorded Soul Forge draft. Let's see if we can uh, pick ourselves out of the last one and do okay. So, okay, so the cards that I'm looking at. Elwyn Highlander is fine, but it's not too amazing. Uh, mostly looking down this right side. Rootford Avatar I was not thinking would be too great. But it was doing very well against me in the previous draft, so maybe it's a uh, maybe there's something to it. Avalanche Invoker similarly wants to be a almost monocolored deck. Um, not a hundred percent sure that that is a uh, great. Omnon Mom also very much wants to commit to Necrium because it wants to have uh, lots of zombies around. I want to mess around with this card. But I think, ah, this sounds fun. I'm going to try messing around with it. I know last time I had trouble because uh, my deck just didn't quite do enough. But I'm going to give it a shot with the zombie and see where it goes. What goes better with zombies? Um, Battle Droid is good. Cleric is not bad. Uh, Battle Dread is very bad against zombies. Um, I think I like Lightbringer Cleric here. I really like combining uh, Necrium and Uterra. So we'll see how that goes. Um, both are good at getting lots of creatures out and uh, making them better. All right, Flesh Fiend is not a zombie, but I will always pick Flesh Friend. Uh, it has been very good for me in the past. It levels up very, very well. Um, these two are very bad, so I'm going to take Grimgaunt Spectre. It's level 2 is good. Um, Toxic Spores is slightly better removal than the Witch. Okay, that first pack has been pretty bad for us. However, we got Azimus the Undying. This turns into a zombie at level 2, and it's uh, one of the best cards in the game. So let's go with that. Okay, Corpse Crawler will be good if we get a decent number of uh, creatures that make other creatures. Um... Glowside Strag is the uh, nearest competitor. I think I'm going to take the Corpse Crawler and just keep an eye out for more of the uh, creatures that buff other creatures. Uh, Feral Instincts is very good. I like having one on the deck in order to uh, push through the last little bit of damage, but Grove Huntress is just a very solid creature. Um... Also, I am willing to have a deck of 30 Graveborn Gluttons, and I think it will do very well. Um, Om Nom Nom may just never come up, but, you know, if we can't get it, we can't get it. Okay, so we got a zombie. Uh, Fellwalker is good here, I think. It goes well with both uh, Om Nom Nom and uh, Corpse Crawler. So, I think that that synergy works well enough for me. Um... Swamp Moss Lurker is a very good creature. Its stats are uh, pretty up there. Fellwalker works well with the other cards that I pointed out before. I think I'm going to take the Fellwalker just because I like the synergies. Although, uh, I will consider not in the future. Alright, Call of the Week is very conditional. Um, however, I think, you know, when it's good, it's very good. Um, Ghost Scale Cobra seems to be a very mediocre way to uh, survive and kill creatures. But sometimes you just need to throw something in front of your opponent's creature that will die. Alright, so our deck is looking very, very defensive. So we want to get a card like Necrotic Worm that will level up very big on its later levels. Okay. Still no more zombies, unfortunately. Um... Mirror Fiend is okay. It's a good light blocker. Um, Banshee's okay. It lets us uh, deal. It lets us shrink opponent creatures, maybe kill them. Um, and it's also a body that can die to a uh, corpse crawler. Um, Deep Branch Prowler is also tempting. Just to have a, another creature with a large body because we don't have a ton. I'm going to take the Banshee just because it seems to work okay with what we're doing. Um, Okay, I could see Spirit, Worm, Ghastly Touch. 
Um, Spirit is another okay creature, plus when it dies again, uh, plus I can again make it die to a uh, corpse crawler. At this point, I kind of want another corpse crawler. I will take a Venom Fang. Honestly, I'm not amazed at the power of the stuff I've been seeing, so hopefully we can uh, get there. Zithian Hulk. Um, I think I'll take the Oxidon Spitter. No, Zithian Hulk just has a better body. Spitter is good as a one of against a, a Loyan, but I think at this point we have so few creatures that have stats that uh, we just need to take them where we can. Okay, so there's another Fellwalker, but we need ways to win at this point. So I think I'm going to take the Glutton. The Glutton gives us the most chance of... Uh, Pushing through gradual damage. Okay, here's some options. We have kind of a ton of uh, Necrium cards. Hellforged Avatar seems pretty reasonable. Um, Fellwalker's still good. Um, I think, however, that Strength in Numbers is pretty good, given the number of Flesh Fiends and uh, like little value creatures we've got. So I want to have the ability to buff those and to uh, you know, get used to that. Okay, another Banshee, or I think it's time to pick creatures that can just have large numbers like game. I will take another Strength in Numbers. I'm happy to have two. I don't think I need more, but... Okay, Vengeful Spirit. Um, I'm trying to go very creature-heavy, given the... Uh... Strength in Numbers I grabbed. Okay, so Delver is a very, very good creature. Um, this is not a Life Shaper deck, sadly. It is a uh, very Necrium-centric. Uh, Zrath changed drastically. It now has better stats, and it gives zombies regeneration. Sadly, all of our zombies seem to be pretty uh, small. It has good stats, though. And it does affect itself now. So do we want Zrath, which is the zombie for Om Nom Nom, or Shard Plate Delver, which tends to just be a very uh, impressive creature. I like Zrath, but I'm done being cute. I'm going to take a good creature. Um, I don't think Grave Gast is big enough to be worth it. Um... We don't have enough spells to play Dark Heart Wander, so I think I'm going to take the Zithian Hulk, although it's really not impressive. Yay, another Flesh Friend. I kind of wish that I had taken the uh, the good Doctor earlier that deals damage to opponents when uh, there are uh, when uh, Abominations die. Just because we've actually picked up a decent number of abominations in our theoretically zombie centric deck. Okay. Grove Matriarch is good with strength in numbers. Um, also good with uh, Fellwalker. Not Fellwalker, uh, Corpse Crawler. Um, Enrage is just a strong card. Um, we've got double strength in numbers. Do we still want Enrage? They did make Grove Matriarch better because the. Uh, the seedling that comes after uh, is better, so I think I will take it. Um, and the final strength in numbers is uh, better than Dark Heart Wander in our deck. So I think I'm going to go ahead and take that. Um, this seems kind of like a pile, but we'll see. Maybe uh, Zombomination can get there.